Hack for Defense is an academic course that combines the real life problem solving skills with real life problems that we've extracted from the Department of Defense, the intelligence agencies, and it largely the government. We came up with an educator's course that certifies instructor teams. Today, 10 universities in the United States have taught this course. We prototyped the class and Columbia picked it up and just nailed it incredibly, right? The Hacking for X program is essentially the same lean methodology applied to national service problems. We went out to first the U.S. The Department of Defense and Intelligence Agencies and said, give us your toughest problems and we'll recruit the best and brightest students who are just hungry to work on things that are real and see if we could put together teams and see if they could actually solve some of these challenges. Hacking for Defense is designed to get students involved in helping to solve complex national security problems. Students, especially undergrads, learn from toy problems. And it was really nice, both for me and for the students, to get a chance to see how these things apply in practical scenarios and actually tackle real world problems. Students are just perfect for this is because they're intensely curious they want to learn. The best and the brightest want to work on some of the toughest problems. Experiential education is probably the best way to kind of make something stick forever. In the Hacking for Defense class, I finally felt like I was able to take on a real problem and develop a real solution that'd be used in the real world. It felt like the work that I was doing inside of the classroom mattered for much more than just a grade. I definitely think our team felt that pressure to deliver something because we had the buy-in from our sponsors that are making important decisions every day. There are real world consequences here and you could also have real world impact and save lives. We developed an app for the Android system. It's called CASTAC, so that's casualty, triage, and communication. It helps streamline communication between medics on the field, team leaders, the headquarters, as well as incoming medics on the medevac helicopters. One of the most rewarding things to do is to feel like I had a hand in developing something tangible and real and that I could point to as a work product. It was completely different from my other coursework, but in a way that I really felt that I used a lot of the things that I had learned in the past couple of years to help me succeed. Thank you. need some connection where our students actually understand what the rest of their government does, even though you might take the class to be engaged and excited about tough problems, you will end up being a much better citizen. We suddenly have government folks engaged in an environment that they've not been engaged in, and we have students becoming more self-aware and more understanding of what's going on in the world. It is such a huge part of our economy and of our culture that if we're gonna have it be $500 billion of our federal budget, I believe it's, it's somewhat your civic duty to understand the military. I hope that the students really got an appreciation for what it is to work with outside clients and what it is to work with people who don't necessarily study the same things they do or view the world the same way they do. I think it's a broadening experience. If you're curious, if you want to work on real world problems, if you're excited about working with a diverse team, this is a class for everybody. The Hacking for Defense class in and of itself is fantastic, but the leverage that it creates is the most exciting part of this. We envision using similar sorts of processes to focus on topics such as public health, smart cities, mass migration problems, and so on. That's one of the reasons why Columbia Entrepreneurship is so supportive of the hacking for defense, hacking for energy models. 